yep. at times pouring. I mean, it really came down as you said it would. Yeah, you said wait 15 minutes? Yeah. And you'll see different weather. That's right. Way. We it was a different time. And the blue skies with those downpours, the perfect setup for all the rainbow pictures and videos we're seeing around the Bay Area. Though at this hour, things are starting to calm down. We'll give you a view on the radar in a moment. Right now, we've got some clearing skies around the Bay Area. Let's take you over to San Francisco, where it's a brisk 51 degrees, partly cloudy skies after those roaming downpours. Moved out. We got winds at 13 miles per hour. The view in San Rafael now. West wind at 14 at about 52 degrees towards Dublin. Partly cloudy skies. Some rain passing by off to the south and into San Jose. 52 degrees. Northwest wind at uh, 14 miles per hour. And our weekend rain totals pretty impressive. This is mostly over a 36 hour period where we had more than two inches of rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains. That's not that unexpected. We expected that for those locations along the coastal range. But also impressive. Danville about an inch of rain. San Rafael almost an inch and a third of rain falling about a half inch here from San Francisco down into Palo Alto, even Livermore and Morgan Hill up to about a half inch of rain. So this was a good two day rain event and is still going on from Los Gatos Campbell into San Jose that continues to move off to the south and east. But notice around where Storm Ranger is located around San Bruno Mountain scanning over to the Tri Valley. Other than the Altamont Pass where you're seeing a few showers, everything is starting to move out of the Bay Area, though still ongoing snow in the Sierra, it looks like this weekend's going to drop. Final storm tally for the Sierra will be close to two feet of snow. Now, notice in the future cast as we head towards tomorrow morning, skies do clear out, which will set the stage for kind of a chilly start. Wind sheltered valleys, North Bay, especially considering we had rain late today. That water could ice up for the morning, so watch out for your windshields tomorrow morning if you've parked outside. Might have some frost or some ice for the morning. Temperatures for the afternoon tomorrow will begin an upward trend. We should see upper 50s to low 60s, 59 degrees around San Jose, 62 Santa Rosa, and numbers in the mid to upper 50s from San Francisco to Oakland. Now, as we get to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there's high clouds at times, but no rain in the forecast. In fact, temperatures for the second half of the week are starting to trend warmer. San Francisco, some low 60s as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday. And then our next chance of rain right now looks to be next Saturday and Sunday. As you see here in the future cast, rain totals don't start going back up again until we head towards next Saturday and Sunday. So the next five days, Monday through Friday, looks dry. But stay tuned as we head towards next weekend. There come those chances of showers approaching the Bay Area. It may see a little more around Valentine's Day if you love snow. There's some of that heading back to the Sierra, looks like, in about another week. So meanwhile, spring-like weather could be just around the corner after this cool Blustery start to the weekend, mid 60s in reach Thursday, and then next weekend, we're on this pattern now, where these storms just like to show up during the weekend. Next chance comes in Saturday into Sunday. I think a lot of people would say that's really bad timing. Yeah, it's inconvenient uh, for those outdoor plans, but the storm pattern does at least mid month still look pretty active for more snow and some rain at times.